welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, mm, I guess a small to medium haul. I have some more things coming in. I was trying to wait until those things came in before I did my whole haul. But I decided, you know, let me just do this so I don't have this huge haul that'll be like 22 minutes long. So we have a NYX store now here in the um, DC, Maryland area, Virginia area. So I went to the NYX store and I was supposed to go to the grand opening and I didn't go because I was out of town. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you some of the things that I got. Now, I've been using some of the things and that's another reason why I decided to do the haul because I was like, let me do this haul before I lose boxes and products. And I've already kind of misplaced some things. Um, NYX lingerie. These are the base, I believe. And some of this stuff I haven't opened and some things I have. I want to swatch it for you guys, so I want to make sure that um, I get it open. If I look a little bit puffy puffy, I just will come from a nap. And I was like, let me get a video done while I got this free time on my hands. So this NYX lingerie is in Evening Spell. And I'm going to swatch it for you. I probably got something similar. You see, I've been swatching some other stuff. So let me put it right there. And that's what it swatches like. And I like this for the fall, but I'm thinking of a nice summer eye to do with this. I just love my oranges and reds, reds and things like that. Um, next up, I know it's crazy, but I got the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Now I've seen this, but I got the trial size because I've always seen this spray and I was just a little hesitant about it because for one, I sprayed it in the store and it smelled like water to me and I didn't see the big deal. And I was on my Fix Plus. So I bought this miniature size to try. And it don't really have water smell to it. It doesn't smell just like nothing. It does have some type of smell to it, but it doesn't smell like my Fix Plus. But um, I can see the dewiness. I put a lot, I've been setting my face with a lot of powder here lately, and I was getting dry spots. So I wanted to try this out to see if it could actually give me that dewy look that I was looking for. Okay, next up, I ordered, well, didn't order, I bought this Tame and Frame tinted brow pomade and I got the color chocolate I had already gotten the chocolate other little thing that comes in the tube I'd already gotten that a couple years ago when it first came out and I just ordered some stuff from I'm looking around I just ordered some eyebrow stuff from color rain because I knew it was gonna color my hair so I've been trying to get brow products to match and I've seen people using it and it goes on so well I don't know if it's my skin I don't know if it's my brows but me and brow stuff is just not really getting along right now and my favorite which was the dip down well finally Matt got it in and it was on I could use my discount for it but then they were out of stock with it so I'm just trying different brow things but I mean it's okay so I lighten my brow to see if that would help just a little bit and I don't know the consistency. I don't know. I'm thinking things on my skin. I just don't want to put everything on the product and say the product's no good because I'm seeing the product work for everyone else. I just think that it's maybe my skin. And I've been exfoliating lately and I just think that either I'm over exfoliating or not exfoliating enough because it's just rough. My skin just is feeling kind of rough to me here lately. So I'm not going to put it on this, but I am going to give it a try. Um, I was dying to try this gotcha covered concealer and because I saw someone using I was like whoa that looks so smooth so when I went to the store that was like the, one of the main things I had to have on my list and it is very thick I got the um, shade golden and that's GCC 06 so and it's very very thick And that's you do not need a lot I use this under my under eye and I just had to warm it up with my finger and then use um, a wet beauty blender and I also use it to conceal you know kind of clean up my brows and 
so far I like it, but it just puts me in the mind of, uh, let's see if I got it in front of me. I don't have it in front of me, but it puts me in the mind of the Kevin Aquan uh, skin enhancer and a little bit of MAC uh, concealers. So it's very, very thick. It's very shocking how thick it is in that little tube. Okay, and actually I had picked up their glitter primer. I think that's what it's called. Not for sure. And because I wanted a base for my like glitter shadows and what have you. And I'd already checked out and I turned around and then on the little uh, miniature section was this multitasker mixing medium. I said, hold up. Is this the one like the MAC one? Because the MAC one is sold out. That's also what's in my haul. So I ordered because the MAC um, eye primer or mixing medium for the liner was sold out. So I had ordered the last one. Well, it had been here today, which is Friday. And I just couldn't wait. And I said, well, I wonder if this is like the mixing medium. So I'm going to try this one and see if it's like the lash one or the eyeliner one. So I don't know if anything I just said made any sense. <laughs> But it, it's making sense to me because I wanted, let me try to break it down. I wanted the mixing medium liner, but it says coming soon. So they don't know when they're going to get it back. I actually called that. So they don't know when they're going to get it back in. So to suffice for me not getting the mixing medium eyeliner, I chose to order the mixing, well, let me just show you. I chose to order the mixing medium lash. So I chose to get that instead of the liner because they didn't have the eyeliner. But when I went to NYX, I saw this. So I said, this has to be like the eyeliner one. So I'm gonna pick up this one and compare the two. I'll just do a comparison. So I've been using it for the past couple of days. I actually use it today on the eye look that I'm wearing today. Ladies, I got the same <laughs> three colors in my crease again. I tried to avoid it, but I just couldn't help myself. So anyway, I used this. I used it yesterday, and I felt like the shadow, I, I put too much on, and I heard you can't put a lot on, so I felt like I put too much on, or um, it was a little kind of clumpy-like. And then I thought maybe I could use this mixing medium, but this is like the foundation mixing medium by MAC. So I just really wanted to try that MAC one, so I'll just keep watching the website. But in the meantime, this is really, really good. I think I've not tried the MAC one yet, but I think it's very, um, here we go. I think that it is very, very similar. So, and then I don't know why, I do know why. I got this cream blush, it's called Tickled. It's still in the package, I haven't played with it yet. But when I swatched it, let me open it. When I swatched it in NYX, it was, it had like a sheen to it. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm just doing some crazy stuff because I got something very similar by MAC as well. But I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a sheen to it. So it's like a cream colored base, but a you can, and that's the thing, it looks like it's really bright, but it's not. It has, mm, can you see it? I can see it, but it has like a peachy kind of shimmer tone, so I thought it would make a great like highlighter, or even if I wanted to use, a, use it as a blush, I could use it as a blush, but it wouldn't be too um, bright or, you know, it'd give my cheeks a little sheen. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is making sense to y'all, but it's making sense to me. So, you get what I'm saying. I want it like, because sometimes I like for, um, I like for my, to go with a, I'm really, really, really trying to break this down. I like to go for a youthful, um, creamy, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm trying to put it together with what I'm looking at. But I like to go for a creamy, youthful, um, vibrant kind of look. And a lot of times I want I don't want to use a bunch of powders. I just want to put on a little color cream base on my cheeks, a little highlighter, and maybe just conceal and put a little light powder to hold a conceal and spray it with some Fix Plus. 
you know, not too overly done, put it like that, not too overly done. Okay, bingo. So these are the last two things, and these are lip products, and I actually have this one on. This is the Intense Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle, and I have Peanut Brittle on right now. Let me swatch it for you, because I wanted to get some more glosses for the summer, and some that we could kind of hold up through the day. So that's Peanut Brittle. Let me swatch it again. That's it right there. I don't have anywhere to put it. And I just cleaned up my room. That's why I have the different background. I kind of switched things around and I'm back at square one. Then I got Dubai. And I thought I had Dubai, but I didn't. I think I got Arby Darby, but Dubai. And this is the matte, soft matte. And it swatches like that. I wanted me a brownie, burgundy lip. Don't know why I probably got one somewhere, but yeah. So that is it for two things. Um, I went originally looking for the eyeliner, the the eyeliner base or the uh, mixing medium for the eyes. They didn't have that, so this has really been in my cart. I'm sorry, this has been in my cart since they came out with this collection, and I don't know how many collections ago that was, but this is the cream color base in yellow topaz. That's it right here. And if I gotta find some more room, that's it right there. So actually it's a cream color base. So I don't know if they made it a permanent uh, item, but I hope they did because I love matte cream color bases. I love to use them on, when I used to do photo shoots, I used to love to use them on photo shoots. I love to use them with my brides because you can put that base on sometimes by yourself or up under the foundation or either over top of the foundation and set it with a highlighter. Sephora, I got the Too Faced Melted Matte, Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. And this is in Drop Dead Red. But this looks very similar to the one that's in the VIB Rouge exclusive. But I love this lip. I want to wear this lip every day almost. But I want to be glossy. But I don't want this to be glossy. I like that it's a matte. I mean, it's that perfects my haul. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with bearing with me with this camera. I'm gonna get this camera for all my new subscribers. And again, thanks to all my old subscribers who've been with me basically since day one, if you're still watching. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys for watching and thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.